Good morning and welcome to the WEX Wake Up for Monday, March 27th. I'm Christy Matino. Breaking news this morning, protests and strikes have broken out across Israel all over Netanyahu's attempts of a judicial overhaul. Thousands of citizens across the country are protesting and striking to try to stop his plan, which in a nutshell comes down to this. Under the proposed plan, Israel's parliament would gain the ability to overrule Supreme Court rulings. Netanyahu has argued the reforms are necessary to streamline the legislative process and prevent judicial overreach. But many citizens disagree, pouring into the streets of Tel Aviv late Sunday night. Flights are suspended at Ben Gurion Airport after the Histadrit Labor Union announced a strike. An estimated 73,000 passengers were expected to travel through the airport on Monday. Businesses are also set to join in on the strike. And bowing out, Congressman Ro Khanna is no longer under consideration for the Democratic race for the California Senate. Instead, Khanna endorsed his colleague, Representative Barbara Lee, on CNN's State of the Union this weekend. He stood up so strongly against the war in Iraq. She worked with me in stopping, trying to stop the war in Yemen and the War Powers Resolution. And frankly, uh, Jake, representation matters. We don't have a single African-American woman uh, in the United States Senate. Uh, she would fill that role. Many progressives had urged Khanna into the race, but he argued the House is the more exciting place to be. This all comes after incumbent Senator Dianne Feinstein, who is currently at home recovering from a case of shingles, said she would not seek re-election. And Trump making a big promise to his supporters this weekend. I will prevent World War III, which we're heading into. The former president said that he will single-handedly prevent the U.S. from entering World War III. That was during the first campaign rally of the 2024 election cycle on Saturday. Trump said the ongoing war in Ukraine would have never happened if he were still president. He is now vowing to end the conflict if he is elected. Trump cited the relationship that he had with Russian President Vladimir Putin during his term and said that an invasion was never something the two discussed. When I say end it, I'm going to get a settlement very quickly. And I know both people, are, and you can get it very, very quickly. You can only do it through the presidency. But you control the money coming in, coming out. You can get that. I will have that settlement done within 24 hours. Now, the campaign stop comes as Trump faces a possible indictment as soon as next week in relation to a case where he allegedly gave porn star Stormy Daniels hush money back in 2016. And that's the news on the WEX Wake Up. Be sure to follow us online and on social media so you stay in the know of all the headlines turning in politics.